So as my province goes into its third coronavirus lockdown, I'm going to be spending even more time in front of this darn computer machine. I'm kidding, I actually really like computers, and especially this one because it has two monitors. Now what that means is I often multitask with different programs, but I'm also going to have to adjust the volume of programs separately. And Windows lets you do this, but you have to go down here to the bottom right hand corner, right click on the volume icon, open the volume mixer, scroll over to your program, and then adjust everything like that. I mean, this works, but it can be vastly improved upon. So what I'm thinking we do is we put a little 3D printed box down here with a bunch of different knobs on it, and they'll all be assigned to different programs, and then I'll just be able to adjust the volume of all the programs down here. So you know if I'm playing Minecraft and I need to focus, I could super easily turn my music down, or maybe I need to hear my friends, so I gotta turn up the Discord. So how are we gonna make it? Well, I'm gonna tell ya. Alright, so this is an Arduino Uno, and it's basically a mini computer, and you could use it for projects like this, but I'm actually not going to use this, I'm going to use this instead. This is an Arduino Nano, and it's actually powerful enough to do this project, so I'm going to use this for something else. Over here, I have a potentiometer, and basically this is just a dial that I'm going to be using uh, to control the volume of all the individual programs, so I just gotta wire a bunch of these up. Alright, so basically what's going on here on the potentiometer, there's three pins. One of them is for voltage, ground, and one of them is the wiper pin. The wiper pin's in the middle, so all I'm going to do is connect this pin here in the middle, the wiper pin, to one of the analog ports here on the Arduino. And then I'm going to connect another pin to the voltage and another pin to the ground, and then I could uh, wire up as many potentiometers as I want, and hopefully if I don't screw anything up, I should have a complete circuit by the end. So I'm going to do that now. First, go to the Deej GitHub page and copy this code. Then you're going to want to go to the Arduino IDE and paste it in. You're going to have to change the first couple of lines here to match how many different DALs you have. And then you're going to want to make sure you have the right board selected, the right bootloader selected, and the right port selected. Don't forget to save your project, and then you can verify it. Once that's done, you could upload the code to the board. When you open the serial monitor, you'll be able to see a bunch of numbers, and as you turn the dials, the numbers should change. Next, you're going to want to head back to the GitHub page and go to the Releases page, and you're going to want to download the executable and the configuration file. You can open the configuration file on any text editor, and this is where you're going to change which dial controls which program. You can set these to different programs, and you can also control the master volume, the mic input, or you could even have one dial control everything that's not mapped already. You can check which COM you're on by going to the Device Manager. In my case, it's COM7. Don't forget to save your file. Now you should be good to launch the executable. Oh, I just realized I got different variable potentiometers. So I don't know if you can see it, but that one's B20. Sorry, 20K. This one's 50K. But the Deej says uh, you need 10K. And I only have one of those. So I think I actually have to get some new potentiometers and wire them up properly. And then I'll try it again and see if it works. Alright, so I modeled this up in Fusion 360. It's a simple little box. It's going to have a spot for each one of the potentiometers up here on top. And then underneath, there's also a uh, two spots for screws and this little plate that's going to be able to come off to let the wire through. So I just got to print this thing up now.
give you a little demonstration, there's a little visual representation over here. It's not usually there, but it's just so you can see what's going on. So I've got all my dials here, so let's say I want to listen to some music and play a game. The first thing I would do is turn up the master volume, which controls everything, and then I can turn up just iTunes using this dial here. So as you can hear, just iTunes is on right now. But let's say I get bored of listening to music and I need to focus on my game, I could turn iTunes down and I can turn Minecraft up. And as you can see over there, the Minecraft volume has gone up. And I can also control the volume of Google Chrome. So there's some music playing on Google Chrome right now on YouTube. Or I could also control Discord. And you can see, Discord just went up right there as I adjusted the dial. And this last dial controls the mic input level, so it'll control how much everyone else hears me. And then if I don't want to hear anything at all, I can just turn down the master volume. So it works pretty cool.